Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat in which we would look at options strategies and specifically we would look at a spread and to be more specific we're going to look, be looking at a bearish spread. This topic is covered on the CFA exam as well as essentials or principles of investments. As always I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,800 plus accounting, auditing, finance as well as Excel tutorials. If you like my lectures please like them and share them connect with me on Instagram. On my website, farhatlectures.com, you will find additional resources to complement and supplement your accounting and finance education. We're going to look at, in this situation, a bearish spread. It means we are pessimistic about the stock. We think the stock's going to go down. So what can we do? We can basically short the stock, but that's pretty dangerous. So what do we do? We can do a spread. What is a spread? Or puts. We're going to be dealing with puts on the same stock with differing exercise prices or time or time expiration. Simply put, you are going to buy and sell a put in this situation. You're going to, some options are bought while others are sold. And specifically, we're dealing with put because we are dealing with a bearish spread here. So a money spread involves the purchase of one option and the sale of another option with a different exercise price. Remember, money, price. A time spread refers to the sale and purchase of options with different expiration date. Date, time. Okay, so let's take a look at how we do things. So if we are bearish, we can buy a put option. Let's assume we buy a put option. Uh, a, a September 50th put option and we paid $5. The reason I put negative is just to kind of remind you we paid $5. So this is what it looks like. This is the profit and loss vertical line. This is zero. And the strike price is 50. And we paid $5. So here's what's going to happen. As long as the stock price don't dip below 50, don't dip below 50, basically our option is useless because we are buying the protection if it goes below 50. Once it hits 50, it will start to pay off because now it's in the money and it will pay off, it will keep paying off. I mean, it will be in the money until we hit the break, the break even point, which is happens to be 45. Why 45? Because, uh, it's, it's the strike price is 50, but it costs us $5. Therefore, we're only going to make money if it's below 45. Although we can sell it at 50, but we still paid $5. So, so basically, our break-even point is 45. Okay. Now, anything below 45, basically, we can sell it at 50 and make a dollar for every dollar it goes below 45. So our profit technically could go all the way down. If it goes down to zero, we could make a profit of $45. Why? Because if it goes down to zero, we can sell it at 50. We can sell it at 50. It costs us five. So our profit is 45. Because, you know, if it's at zero, we don't have to, you know, we're, it's basically useless. Okay. But we make a profit of 45 because we can sell it at 45. We can sell it, but in reality, it's zero. Now let's sell a September put, 46 put, and receive $2. So simply put, we paid five to buy the put. We got two dollars to sell the put. Now we are at negative three in total. Negative three in total. This is this is our new cost. Okay. Now basically, what's going to happen is this. Let's take a look at our profit line with a combination of these two. This is the profit loss. This is zero. This is the stock price. Now, uh, the strike price is 50, uh, the, this, the, uh, the price is 50, 50 then, one, one, stock, one stock price, uh, exercise price is 50 for this option, and for the other option is 46. Now, your, your profit and loss would look something like this. You're going to be starting at negative 3. So, rather than 5, putting up five dollars now you only put three dollars for this strategy so anything above 50 if the stock is above 50 basically you, you would lose three dollars once it goes down below 50 it's going to start to kink up and basically now your break even is not 45 your break even now is 47 your break even is 47 so this is your break even why 47 because you can sell it at 50 but you still have to pay three dollars your break even at 47. so what what happened is this 
After 47, you will start to make profit, but as soon as the stock hits 46, then the other option that you sold will start to work against you. Therefore, you would make a, so your profit will be limited to a dollar, okay? Now, although the, the, okay, you're saying, well, if the stock price goes down further, don't I make money on, on this option? Yes, you'll make $1 on this option, you'd lose $1 on this option going forward. Therefore, you're gonna make $1, and this is basically the spread, the spread for you. So you made a dollar, so your max profit is a dollar. So when do you use this strategy? You would use this strategy when you think the stock price is gonna go down, but not too much. If you think the stock price is gonna go down, let's assume theoretically to zero, you just don't, you don't sell this put. You just let it go, slide, and if it slides, you know, it goes down to zero, and you'll make the money. You will make, you know, you will make, as we said, forty-five dollars. So here you think it's gonna go down, but not too much, not too much. Therefore, you will make that easy, not easy, in quote, relatively uh, safe small amount, relatively safe small amount. So simply put, you're only paying. You you could lose three dollars, but there's a good chance you could make a dollar. That's basically what you are, what you are doing here. Okay. In the next session, we would look more at different option strategies as well, or I might just work an exercise to combine all those. Um, as always, I'm gonna ask you to like this recording. If you, if you like it, share it, put it in playlist, and don't forget to visit my website, farhatlectures.com, to complement and supplement your this course as well, your other accounting and finance courses. Good luck, study hard, and stay safe.